Hello and welcome to Cube Simplify, and we are back with another video. Uh, this video is again brought to you by Armo, Commodore, Avesha, Sysdig, Instruct, Slima, and Teleport. So make sure to check them out. Links are in the description. So in this video, we'll be discussing about Helm Dashboard. So this is a new open source uh, tool by Commodore, and it's basically a UI on top of the Helm CLI. So Helm, if you don't know, Helm is a package manager. Helm is a tool, a CLI to install various Helm charts. So what happens is when you create a Kubernetes cluster, uh, you will be installing certain applications on that, like uh, monitoring stack on that, security stack on that, and you know, different bunch of applications, portainer. So every application uh, these days have a Helm chart, which we call, and you can install that Helm chart using the Helm CLI. And you can install various charts. Like there are thousands, thousands, and thousands of Helm charts available that you can download and you can customize. So basically, as, as a vendor or as an open source project, people create Helm charts with customizations that can be edited on the fly, like while installing as user inputs. So uh, that is something called values.yaml file. So while, while installing any Helm chart, you provide uh, values.yaml uh, file so that you can install a particular application as per your needs. So that's that's a, a small summary of what Helm is. Now, there are certain challenges when it comes to Helm. Like, let's say you have um, a team of you know certain people and you are working on an X cluster uh, and many people are installing various random Helm charts over there and you don't even know at some point what all Helm charts are actually there. Uh, just like, you know, uh, Portainer, Rancher, they solve this problem of, many clusters single view uh, where you can you know view all your clusters and all these things in details helm dashboard aims to simplify that for installed helm charts on different in different namespaces across different clusters and give you a single view what all is installed on your uh, on your cluster in different namespaces uh, there are a bunch of other uh, things that it can do which we'll discuss in the demo uh, another challenge which is there like when you are updating a Helm chart. So how do you keep a track of the differences between the files that change between different revisions of a same Helm uh, application deployment? So uh, that also Commodore Helm dashboard aims to simplify. So it's basically a simple UI on top of Helm CLI. So let's dive right into it. So this is the repository, uh, Helm dashboard, and uh, this is the latest version 0.2.3, which was released 17 hours ago. What it does, you can actually see capabilities. You see the install Helm chart, see the previous revision, uh, browse the various resources. You can actually roll back, update the version directly from the UI and easy to switch between multiple clusters. So it, it gives you a very easy way of installing as a Helm plugin. So I already have that Helm plugin installed and you it runs locally. So it doesn't require any fancy access. So whatever there in the cube config file, it'll read that and it will be uh, showing that, I mean, uh, getting all the info from for the Helm charts installed and displaying everything. So let's try it out. So I already have a Kubernetes cluster. So cube CTL get nodes. So you can see uh, a cluster is already there. So what we will do is we'll do Helm dashboard. So it is using the file and it opened the uh, dashboard with the name. So this particular kubeconfig file only has one cluster. They can be kubeconfig file with different contexts. It will display all the contexts over here. Uh, so these are various Helm charts that it has read. Um, somehow this particular Helm charts is running like going two out of the box. Uh, but anyways, so there is a list of Helm charts which is there and you can see all the revisions that are there on this particular Helm chart. Let's try one thing. Let's click on one of the Helm chart. So now it is getting all the resources. So basically this is the Helm chart. So Rancher is deployed uh, and this is a chart version. So it is 2.6.9, actually Rancher 2.7.0 is out there in terms of the RCs. The official release will be available soon. The manifests, so what all manifests are there that was deployed onto this particular Kubernetes cluster. Uh, then the diff with previous, so that is a very interesting feature. So diff with the previous version, if we do it, we'll try to do something. The values, in the values also, you can see user defined only. So basically what are the user defined values that you have changed for this particular Helm chart? And we can reconfigure it on the fly. So we can reconfigure the user defined values and update it. And we can also 
see different versions. So for example, like uh, if we want to switch to a different Helm chart version, so let's, you know, let's do it 268. So it will be updating everything and we can actually, it is calculating the diff for the manifest to be changed. And after that, uh, we will be able to confirm it. So you can see all these things will be changed. So let's confirm it. So you can see the revision has been changed to two. Um, so what happens is you, you have upgrades available, right? You can see that the upgrade is available. The rollback to one is it, option came directly over here. So we can roll back to the previous version. We can upgrade to the latest available version. And we can also uninstall from the UI itself. Uh, another interesting feature, like you go to the deployment, uh, you can see everything. You can also describe it. So describing the deployment gives the describe of that particular deployment. What is there? You can describe and you can see the events as well. So giving you a little more uh, view for that. Another interesting feature that uh, is there is scan. Helm dashboard has, I think, integration with Privy and Chekhov. Uh, so I already have Chekhov installed. Uh, so it will be using these scanners to scan the manifest. So let's try to scan one of the deployment. So we put a scan over here. And you can see the results are there, like, you know, a memory request should be set. Container should not run with allow privileged escalation. So all these are there and yeah, they are not full. So I think Commodore might want to add a scroll over here or maybe a download button that can that you can download the complete report for this particular scan. Um, that would be cool. Uh, so anyways, so it gives you the scan results of sick, failed, passed, whatever test based on the certain tool, which is Chekhov in this particular case. Uh, so these are all the resources that were deployed as part of the Rancher Helm chart. These are the manifests that were there uh, and you can see the diff with the previous version. And you can see uh, now we actually have a diff because we changed from 2.6.9 to 2.6.8, which is very fancy. Uh, we can roll back, we can upgrade. And you can see this one was the suspended and this is the current deployed version. Uh, also, it scans your local repository and see what all Helm charts are available. Like I have Portainer already there. So it will go to that repository, uh, see that it will check for the latest version and you can install directly from here. And you, know, you can select the latest version and you can put your user defined values over here. Similarly, I can go to Percona. So I can see there are different charts available inside the Percona Helm chart repository and I can install any one of them. And if I go to Rancher latest, it will be showing that I have installed already installed and I can view that. So I think it gives a very neat, clear view of the Helm charts that are deployed across tape spaces, across the clusters, which are there. You can easily upgrade, roll back, uh, update the Helm chart, uninstall, uh, scan your deployed resources and even describe them, have, a, have it as a single view. So that's what Helm Dashboard gives you out of the box. Uh, you can join their Slack channel and also discuss the issues in the repositories. The, two, the few main ones are like uh, the scanner right now cannot, you know, all cannot scan all the uh, stuffs which are there, like the custom resources. Another thing which we saw here, this appearing, you know, going outside of the field. So this can be fixed. So you can raise all these issues actually on uh, the GitHub and uh, I'm sure the team will fix that. So that's pretty much it about Helm dashboard. I think it's pretty fancy because it solves a lot of problems to have a single view of all your Helm charts uh, and you will be able to understand what your team has deployed across the clusters, across the namespaces, and it'll be easy for you to see the differences between different revisions that people have updated the Helm chart and you can update directly from the UI as well and you can scan those. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you feel about Helm Dashboard and uh, awesome work, Commodore, again, for, uh, you know, uh, contributing back to open source, giving open source community something back. So I, I love the, the companies and the organizations who love to give back to the community. And Commodore has been doing, doing that. So a big shout out to Commodore over there. Uh, so check that out and uh, try it out and leave your thoughts in the comments. And if you like the video, do like it and subscribe to the channel. That's, that's what keeps me going. It's it's amazing and we'll be coming up with all new fancy um, cloud native videos for you and again once again this video was brought to you by armo commodore avesha sysdig instruct slim ai and teleport make sure to check them out all the links are in description they're amazing organizations supporting the communities so you should support them too and see you in the next video